Okay, starting off turn number eight with Arjun. And Arjun is the first thing he's going to do is regain two hit points because we were able to flip this back over. So he's going to gain two hit points and flip it again, taking Arjun up to six hit points. So we didn't use a surge. Now, what can we do? Hmm, there's not a lot we can do, really, because, because we kind of want to move this way to get over towards Alyssa. I think that's the plan. I guess what I can do is move twice. There's nothing that says Cavan can't move twice with me. When a hero is adjacent to the Cavan token at the start of his or, hero, his or her hero phase, they can lead the Cavan token through the dungeon... At the end of that hero phase place. Yeah, so I can move anywhere I want and Cavan just finds me or teleports to me or whatever. So I think I'll do that because my other option would be... I mean, I guess I could move... Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. I could move up here and then be on an unexplored edge. And maybe I'll do that. Actually, I think I'll do that because we need to explore. So... One, two, three, four. We definitely have the movement for it. So now at the end of my hero phase, Cavan moves up adjacent to me. All right, it's update for Arjun. So we moved. We did not attack. So no treasure for us. We are exploring. Finally, for the first time, it feels like in forever. Yeah, oh, hey, we got the dark fountain. I didn't think we were anywhere near it. That's the uh, that's the one we're looking for. Oh man, now I really regret having Alyssa way up there. Um, all right, I don't exactly. I've never found it before before dying in this game, so I'm not sure what to do. Uh, most likely, we still have to play out the tile like normal, but let's see what happens when a hero reveals the dark fountain. The denizens in Psy Castle Ravenloft realize what the heroes are attempting and attack. Place five hit point tokens on the dark fountain tile. All right, so let's do that first. Remembering that we have not yet drawn a monster for the tile, and there's no rule that's there's nothing that says we don't do that. So I'm sure we still do. I'm sure we still do. So we place five hit point tokens on the dark fountain. There we are, five tokens. For the rest of the adventure, at the end of each hero phase, the active hero draws a monster card and places the monster on a tile within two tiles of the hero's tile. Okay, so first of all, let me let me draw the normal monster for placing a tile, because we still do that. We always do that. So we place a skeleton on the bone pile of the newly drawn tile. So yes, we explored, we got a white tile, we got a skell, a uh, no encounter. We still have them dumb sliding walls, skeleton. Okay, now, for the rest of the adventure, at the end of each hero phase, the active hero draws a monster card and places the monster on a tile within two tiles of the hero's tile. Now that happens at the end of each hero phase. Now, by the time we have drawn the Dark Fountain, we're exploring, so our hero phase has already ended. Therefore, we don't draw an extra monster this turn because we, we, don't, we don't do the tile until the exploration phase. Okay, so... So whenever a hero and Cavan are on the Dark Fountain tile at the end of the hero... at the end of that hero's phase, a part of Strahd's vampiric essence 
inhabiting cabin is destroyed. Remove one hit point token from the dark fountain tile. Okay, so the way we win is we have to be we have to get up to the dark fountain tile, and cabin has to be cabin. He can't be the vampire. So we have to we have to last five rounds on the dark fountain. I don't see that happening, but sure. Okay, so uh, now we're starting the villain phase. Uh, we check Cavan, he's fine. There's no encounter. The wall activate and does nothing, and the skeleton activates. So, do do do. If it's within no tile, it moves adjacent to the closest hero. So, skeleton, bone pile to bone pile, and attacks Arjun with the slice so it gets a plus nine on that attack that's ridiculous and that's clearly going to hit taking arjun down to four so and that's going to be the end of arjun's uh turn number eight now it's Alyssa's turn so i think actually all we're going to have her do is we're going to have her just sprint or take two runs because the gargoyle will sit there and do nothing. So I think the best thing she can do is just try to get over to the fountain. So her movement is six, which means if she does a double move, she can move 12. That's pretty far. Let's see how far we can get her in 12 moves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So we can have her move all the way over here, one above the bone pile. So all the way over here. So Alyssa did not use a surge. She moved. She moved again, which is allowed. You're allowed to move and move again. You can't attack and attack, but you can move and move. No treasure. No exploration. No tile. No new monster. A forced encounter for not exploring. Um, so that means now we're in her villain phase. And at the start of her villain phase, we have to check Cavan, and Cavan is on a tile with a monster, so we have to replace the Cavan token with the vampire uh, figurine. But before it activates, let's put young vampire, we have to deal with the encounter, but we also need to check this. At the end of each hero phase, the active hero... Okay, so I forgot to do that at the end of her hero phase, but it won't matter. We're not so out of order that this matters. So basically, when she stopped moving, that ended her hero phase. And then... She needs to draw a monster and place it within two tiles of, of her. Okay, so she draws another monster... And we'll put that over here so that's a wolf. And we have to place it within two tiles of Alyssa. Wolf sucks because um, these can move two tiles at a time. So that's one tile, that's two tiles. We'll put it up there. We'll put it up there. So the gargoyle and the wolf. Okay, so I go so technically now her villain phase is starting, so we swap out Cavan and now we draw an encounter card because she didn't explore and she gets bubbling cauldron place each monster one tile closer I don't want to do that I'm gonna cancel it even though that's gonna burn through the only pile of five we have but yeah I'm still gonna do it let me just count to make sure one two three four and then the last one has to be at least one so that's that's our five so, yes, but cancelled. Now the young vampire activates. And if the young vampire is adjacent, and it is, it attacks with that plus eight against Arjun. So, plus eight against Arjun. That's eight and eight is sixteen, so that will miss. Just barely, but it misses. And there does not seem to be any side effect for a miss. 
and as long as uh, yeah okay so that's it so that's a miss so now the wolf activates or rather the gargoyle activates but luckily it'll sit there and do nothing now the wolf activates and I think it just moves two tiles closer if the wolf is adjacent it's not if it's within two tiles okay it is it moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks with the pounce so bone pile to bone pile to bone pile so that's one tile two tiles Wolves are really fast, and it gets a pounce, plus 7, 13, that's going to be a hit, and it's going to slow her down, which really sucks. So Alyssa is slowed and takes 1 damage, taking her down to 2, and she is slowed. Okay, so that is going to be the end of turn number 8, and... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'd really like to see somebody who was able to win this adventure legitimately without forgetting to draw encounters, without forgetting to draw monsters. You know, I don't think I've ever seen anybody on YouTube play this game without forgetting to do something that helped them. But anyway, we'll move on.